All right, I got some leaves to blow. Let's fire this old thing up. You son of a bitch! Don't you hate it when this happens? Let's see if we can fix it. Okay guys, Shea Bear 1000 here again. As you've seen, I replaced the primer bulb on this not too long ago. And when I went to start it, well, my rope broke. I've had this thing for a while. I bought it at a yard sale or a flea market or something. Um, so hopefully, without changing the rope, it's only broke right there. I may be able to uh, to just pull enough out of there and reattach it to here. But first of all, we have to take this cover off. Now to get to this cover here, we have got some bolts that are little screws that are way down inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take take the engine I'm going to take the backpack part. It's a backpack blower. I'm going to take the engine off there. That way we're not going to have this in our way. So let me get some tools. These are Torx. Torx screws. Or some folks like to call them star bit or star. But the technical name is Torx. You see that? There you go. Okay, so I'm going to get the stuff we need, and it's the same ones on the bottom of this. I'm going to get the stuff we need, and we're going to get we're going to go ahead and take this part off the backpack. First thing we're going to do. I'm sorry about the light, guys. You may see a shadow here and there. I've got this light hanging up there um, to try to help you guys a little bit to see. Uh, it is it's one of them late nights in the garage. It's 9 o'clock right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your plastic bag right here. Just in case. Because these caps are vented. You don't want them to leak. Because, you know, we may have to... We're going to be turning this up on its side and stuff. So, um, this should keep it from... From leaking. But we'll still do our best to... Uh, make sure that it doesn't so we're just going to you know, put that right there for now I'm still going to kind of turn it up on that side um, now them screws I was showing you let's get this up on its side here okay they're right around I know the shadows right here wherever you see these springs these springs right here Okay, there's screws up under here. They are T25 Torx. Uh, you might be able to get by with a number two square, but since I've got the Torx bits, I'm going to use them. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do I'm trying to stab you guys away here. So I'm going to take these out. So that way we can get the base off of this thing. Anyway, there's another one here. I think there's only three on this one. Well, that thing's junk. But we've got to fix that. Whoops. I have several of them, but let's go ahead. Now, of course, 
our fuel tank is still mounted up here on the backpack part. So we can unhook the line and leave the fuel tank attached or we can unhook the fuel tank. So let's go ahead and unhook the fuel tank. We'll leave it attached to the engine for now. Well, all right. I don't know if I can get in there with the with the bower or not, but let's give it a shot and get this one. But the bottom one, I'm probably not going to be able to because it's way down underneath here. It's down underneath, underneath there. So let's let's get another. Uh, bit driver. Put this over here out the way just a little bit. Yeah, now I can get to it. Okay. Keep all these screws. These are a little different, so oops, so you won't be able to mix them up. So, all right. Now, whoops. All right. Okay, and there's one more. Where you at? Right. right here right in there I know you can't see it real well but it's there I'm gonna go ahead and take it out right. there's that one now we've got the tank out too so let's set the backpack down here out the way so, what we're going to do now is let's move this forward. Okay? Because all we got to do is get this top off and then we'll be, we'll be set. Now, what there is, well, it's getting to be in rough shape. There's a, one, of, one of these torque screws down inside here. There's one there. There's one up front right here and one up front right there. Now, that's why I had to take the backpack off of it. So, let's go ahead and get them screws out. If this will allow me to go down inside there, and it will. These ones look like they're all pretty much the same length. So if they are, just remember, try to remember. All right, there's, this is what we've got to work on down in here. You can see, maybe, there's, there's the string or Pull rope. This is also known as a recoil. So, what we got to do is we got to get this out of here. So, we can find out if this rope is still usable. Okay, so, and then we have to rewind it so we can put. See, it's kind of, we may be able to reuse it. I don't know. All right, I have found one 
This came off of my niece's home light. I did a video on taking the, uh, tearing the uh, cylinder head off of it. Uh, I hate to use this because it's still good, but I mean this part of it is still going to be fine. It's just, you know, I'll have to put, replace the, the pull rope. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this clear out, the rope clear out of it. All right. It's a little smaller in diameter than that one, but it may work until I get a more suitable one. So what I'm going to do is I'm holding that, like that with my thumb, and I'm going to reach down in here with my clippers, and I'm just going to clip that off, if I can, I guess my clippers aren't going to cut it. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Alright. Now just be careful when you let that go. Just let it go easy. Because if you let it go, you could break the spring. Alright, so let's set this back over here. We're done with that. Alright. Now back to this guy. Now some of these you can take off and not worry about the spring flying out. This is one of them. So, there's a little screw right here in the center of that. And, we're going to take this out. Alright. Just like that. Now this is a very important washer. Don't lose it or this screw. You may be able to substitute the screw, but that washer is very concaved so you're not going to want to so pull that out just like that and down in here is the knot for your rope and it goes through that little hole knots up right there so we're going to take these let's a little shaky today all right I think I'm going to do a live feed tomorrow night. Well, Friday night, because he might not get this till tomorrow. I think it's Saturday. So go ahead and pull this out. If you can't, just cut it. You know, it's it's already shot. You know, so let's go ahead and cut this. cutters are getting dull just like that okay so now we have this okay now when we put this back in there we're going to have to wind this and I'm going to show you how we do that but first since this goes down like that we won't be able to get it in there correctly and knotted right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the string in here the string we pulled off of the uh, you know what, let's get a little better cut on that. Let's go ahead and cut that off a little bit better. There we go. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to melt that. Okay? So, let's use this little guy. Because if not, that will fray out on you and won't go through the hole. Okay, just get it and then just something like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, and then that way it'll keep it from fraying. Now, in the meantime, <clears throat> we're gonna have to take this end off too. So, and I'll show you why here momentarily. So we're gonna take this end, take this end off. Now this end has a knot on it. Okay, so let's take this knot out. See this one looks like a shoestring. And I know it's not because uh, my niece had bought that unit brand new. So, all right. Now, what we're going to want to do is right down inside here. 
get the light on for you. There's a little hole right there. See that hole right there? All right, we're going to stick that down through there. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can get, if this will help any. Hope it's not blinding you. We're going to try to stick this in here. Because it's got to come out through there. So, if it don't go, try to squeeze that a little bit. I might have bubbled it up too much. I know, I could just use this end and it'd go right in there. But the reason why I want to do this end is I want to show you how these things can be finicky and the problems you may run into as you're trying to do it. So, stick it in that hole. You may have to resort to using a pair of needle nose to get it started. But, you know, this is everyday life. So, I mean, you're not always going to have a perfect end like I do. See, it's starting to fray out again. All right. Let's heat it some more. Careful, because that will be hot sometimes. Sometimes you may get it started from the back side, but this one is not wanting to do that. So. I'm glad we didn't go with a bigger with a bigger cord, huh? Let's just nip a little bit of this off. Now, let's try it again. And this, this rope may be a little too long too. I don't know. But we'll just have to see how it winds up. Once you get it started down in there, you may be able to grab that with your needle nose and pull it through. Now what you're going to want to do is make a little knot. I know a lot of you guys have done a hundred of these go come on it's easy but for the do-it-yourself or that's never done one because they're thinking it's too hard give it a shot I mean that's already broke right you can't break it worse and there you go put it down in there like that okay there it is <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to put this back on here and you have to turn this until you feel it pop in just like that okay now we're going to put our screw remember I said don't lose that I just lost it we're going to put our screw back in now what I like to do with these is this is uh, great for rubber and plastic this stuff here now I'm not in you know they're not I'm not getting paid it's just something I use um, just for stuff like this just to give it a little you know because that that is a moving you know that is a moving part in there so and it is plastic so all right, make sure I want to make sure that that popped down in there. Okay, it did. All right. All right, guys. Now, moving forward again. Again, you can use your 
your uh, impact driver if you wish. I just, you know, this is going into plastic, so I'm kind of leery about that. I've, you know, stripped things like this out before doing stuff like that. Tighten it up. Now, that comes out right through that hole there. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to wind this all the way up. But not the string. Don't wind the string up yet. Just wind your spool, okay? Don't wind your spring up. So I'm going to wind the spool all the way up as far as I can get it. I know you can't see much, but just be careful because it can get you. Still winding. Uh, all right. Yeah. Now, now you're going to want to try to get this other end through that hole. And it's tough to see, guys. I'm sorry. Without letting go of it. There we go. Okay. I'll pull it through here. Now it's got to go up through the other one. It's coming out through. Well, it will be. Out through there. Like that. Now, oh, okay. Now, what you're going to want to do now that it's wound up, hold it tight and let it come back very slowly, faster than what I wanted it to go. Very slowly, all right. So, that's going to be enough. So, now what we're going to do, what a lot of guys will do, they'll put a pair of vice grips or something on there and hold that, but I'm always afraid it'll fray it there. No pun intended. So, now we're going to want to tie our, our thing off, which I should have already had this out of here, but all you do is just pull that out. By the way, I have used boot strings and uh, stuff for these before in a pinch, and I've had them work for a year. Now your results may vary. Now we're going to pull this up here and we're going to tie tie this into a knot big enough to where it's not going to pull through that hole which that's probably big enough there but let's just make sure alright there we go now there you go guys. just like that alright let's get you Sorry again for the lighting and piss poor camera work. It's, like I said, uh, make sure everything's good to go. And then, good to go there. sure there's nothing in the way make sure it pops down in there just like that okay you see that right. okay we're gonna have this running here shortly now I'm gonna put all these screws back in and then we're gonna start it okay
she's back together, folks. Now, you know, your application may be may different, differ from this, but I know I say it a lot, but basically it's the same principle. It's pretty much the same thing. Now we're gonna take this outside. We're gonna see if it'll fire up. guys there you go sounds like I may need to adjust the carburetor a little bit uh, uh, tweak it out you know it's been sitting for a long time so but other than that that's pretty much how you do it it's all on the same principle the same basis just be careful don't break your springs watch where your screws come out of most importantly take pictures videotape whatever you got to do and uh, that way if you forget something you can roll it back and go aha that screw went here or that bolt went there so anyway guys don't forget to check out my patreon page stop by and say hello and remember thanks for watching uh, please comment rate and subscribe and if you subscribe to me I will subscribe back to you so that being said guys Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys take care